I'm Chris Thacker, and this is the Curiosity Show from the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. We're coming at you today from the La Brea Tar Pits. We're in Hancock Park at the heart of Los Angeles, and this is a unique and amazing place where all the crude oil that's under LA seeps up and bubbles through the crust and forms big sticky puddles. Those puddles of asphalt have been trapping plants and animals for thousands of years. We're here to find out about Ice Age Los Angeles and what our city was like before it was a city. I'm here with Ashley Farrell, who's the collections manager at the La Brea Tar Pits and Museum. And I'm standing in front of material from our Project 23 excavation that the public can come and view in Hancock Park. And Ashley, what, what is this stuff? Where did it come from? So right next door, they built a big parking lot here on the park's property. And mm -hmm. so we were able to save all of these fossil deposits um, so that we can excavate them on public view for future research. So how old are the fossils and the material in the, in the La Brea Tar Pits? La Brea Tar Pits fossils are about 50,000 years ago to a couple hundred only. Mm -hmm. In geological time, that's really short. We don't have dinosaurs here. So the dinosaurs were like hundreds of millions of years. This is just thousands of years. This is Ice Age. What sorts of things do we find in the La Brea Tar Pits? Ice Age, iconics, like Colombian mammoths and saber-toothed cats and dire wolves and camels and short-faced bears. But those are the big guys that went extinct. We also have a whole ecosystem of small stuff and they're still around today somewhere. All little guys like fish that you'd be interested in, amphibians, we've got reptiles, we've got birds, rodents, plant material, beetles, all the way up to coyotes actually who still live around the hills today. And so all of the finds in the material are in at the, at the museum? Yep. Okay, let's go inside and have a look at some of the fun. All right, let's go. So how does this work? There's these puddles of tar out on the landscape, and then what happens? Those puddles that are at the surface are big, giant, sticky traps. And so they trap leaves, and then they're almost invisible. So imagine a big animal walking in and just getting trapped on the surface like a fly on flypaper. And so it doesn't have to be that deep. No. Some big thing comes in, gets stuck in the tar, and then what happens? Then there's a bunch of carnivores that were living around here, and so they come in and feed on that poor animal. So this is why it's a carnivore trap. So we get a disproportionate number of carnivores to herbivores here. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's, and that's because if something big like a big herbivore gets caught, then it dies or is dying and a bunch of carnivores come scavenging? Yes. Oh, that's so brutal. What kind of cat carnivores do we have here? A short-faced bear here, an American lion, the biggest cat that we know of. Oh. Our iconic saber-toothed cat, of course. And we've got a dire wolf, which is our most common carnivore. Uh huh. But of course, there's lots of herbivores too, so they fed on herbivores. Oh, okay. And so what's and what's this? This is a baby mastodon. A ba yeah. Does the baby mastodon jaw? And these are the teeth, right? Yes. And then so then this is a single tooth from an adult. This is an adult mammoth. This is a mammoth. Okay, mm -hmm. so mammoth and mastodon are mammoth different. Mammoth and mastodon. Yes. Oh, okay. What's now? What's the difference between a mammoth and a mastodon besides their teeth? They both kind of look like big elephants, right? They or? are, but they're not closely related. Oh. Okay. And so the Colombian mammoth is more closely related to elephants that live today. And they were here so in Los Angeles. They were here. We are now in the ossuary. This is where we keep the tar pits collections. All these bones on all these shelves came out of the tar pits excavations over the past hundred years. These are some of my favorites. Here we've got young saber-toothed cats. Uh, we've got kittens with their little saber right here. So this is their milk tooth. They were born with it as far as we know. Uh huh. Um, and as they were growing up, check it out. They still have their baby saber, but look what's happening. At some point they had double sabers. Oh my gosh, Pretty okay. Incredible. And then these are the molars that are farther back in the jaw? Yep, this is actually a baby molar, and then this is the uh, permanent one coming in. Do all mammals do this, have two sets of teeth? Yep. They have a, just, baby teeth. just like we do, the baby teeth that fall out, and then they get the adult teeth. Yep. That's amazing, that's, that's fantastic. The La Brea Tar Pits are the only active urban Ice Age excavation in the world. You can come visit us in Los Angeles on the Miracle Mile, or you can check our website at tarpits.org.